Well, are your matches snowproof? And are they waterproof? Well, hey folks, Aaron here. Welcome to another episode of Gideon's Tactical. Today, we're gonna to be looking at two different companies that are producing insane results with matches. We're gonna be looking at the Zippo Typhoon match kit and the Yuko Titan match kit. Now, both of these companies brag that these are basically do everything proof, windproof, waterproof, and everything in between. And we're gonna test that out today, see which one performs better in the overall system as well as a kit, because both of these are kind of designed as that last resort, do anything, and in any situation, give you about 30 seconds of burning time so that you can get a fire started. That's the concept with these two kits. The kits are supposedly waterproof, the matches are supposedly waterproof, snowproof, windproof, all those things. So we're gonna test out all of that today. And both of these match kits run for about $10. We're gonna have links in the description below over to Amazon. When you guys use those hyperlinks, really helps us out, buy gear just like what you're seeing here, and then gives us the ability to go out and test and give you guys full comprehensive videos just like this. So thank you for supporting us in that way. Simple way, just using those hyperlinks provided below. And so whichever one comes out on top and whichever one connects with you, you can find those right over on Amazon through the links we offer. All right, so we're gonna look at these two cases real quick before we actually look at how the matches perform and throw them in water and snow and all that stuff. So uh, the Yuko is a little bit more compact, it's a little smaller, and it has an exposed striker pad. The Zippo is a little heavier, it's a little bulkier, but it has a watertight striker pad. Just to show you here, the Yuko has this pad right here, it works great, but if you throw it in the lake like we did, it disintegrated that piece of paper and that pad and it did not function. So you have to have at least some spares. Now they give you two spares that are inside the container. Uh, we did throw it in the lake, it floated, that was great. I even tried to submerge it, no problem. No water got into the container at all. There's a massive rubber seal, but if you have that exposed striker pad there, it will be ruined and then you'll have to replace it with one of the ones that's inside. So in, in my mind, I would just take all of them out and just store them all inside the, the container until you're ready to use them. Zippo, I think, has done a better job overall with their case. Even though it is a little heavier, a little bulkier, it's got that higher viz, you know, color, which is nice. And they put a rubber waterproof um, cap over their striker pad, which is at the bottom of the container. It, we threw it in the lake, did not get damaged whatsoever, and that watertight seal really worked well. Then you can see here again, just a large gasket. Zippo will give you about 15 matches. Yuko, I believe, gives you 10 to 12. They do give you a couple spare pads in here as well, just like on the Yuko. So um, between the two, even though the Zippo uh, is a little bit heavier, a little bulkier, I like the case overall for giving you waterproof capability with the striker pad and not just the matches. All right, we're gonna test the Zippos first. seeing a flame. Hmm. Oh, there it goes. Okay. And it's out. All right, now we're gonna do the Yuko. again. There it goes again. So those Yukos are proving to be better. Oh yeah. It's doing a lot better. There it goes. Okay, going for the Zippos again. Mm. 
Now we got the Yukos. Well. well, I think the video speaks for itself. Though the Zippos are good, the Yuko Titans are better. They just seem to um, ignite consistently and stay consistently lit even in submersion in snow or water. Now, I do like the Zippo case a little bit more, and for most scenarios, the Zippo is still gonna do great, but if you had to only pick one and throw in your system, I would rely on the Yukos more so than on the Zippo. Those Titans are just gonna give you a little bit more reliability, in my opinion. Now, thank you guys so much for coming over here today and checking out the channel. Love to hear your guys' thoughts on these two kits and whether or not you even use matches in your systems or if you maybe know of other companies that are throwing out stuff similar to this. Love to test those out as well and hear from you guys. I really appreciate when you guys give me um, ideas for upcoming videos and when you guys comment below in that way. If you're a current subscriber, thank you so much for your continued support. Make sure to hit that bell icon and make sure that your these videos that we put, put up are in your news feed and check back regularly. You know, every week we're throwing up two to four videos. Just depends on how many I can crank out at a time. But Thank you guys for your support. If you're not a current subscriber, I invite you to become part of the GT family. We're throwing up videos like this every single week and we have an awesome community of people that just connect and participate in the conversation here at Gideon's Tactical. Check us out on all the relevant social media, Instagram, Facebook, that's another way to see what's up and coming and interact with me. And finally, always remember, stay equipped, stay prepared. See you out there.